all right here we go what's good youtube it's your boy prioxis and i'm back with another video man and this one here i actually wanted to talk about hold on let me fix my screen real quick because it ain't supposed to be like that all right cool there we go i want to talk about uh, darren till man i use him for you guys and i honestly i feel for the man you know injuries one of the plaguing things to athletes is injuries and one of the worst injuries is an acl tear now darren till has had an acl tear before and it looks like he's had he's he has another one well he just had another one i'm sorry uh he said it to bruce buffer at the end of the fight he said i he tore his acl and it's tough and honestly it kind of looked like uh darren till okay it looked like he kind of gave up i mean if you ask me i'd say he did um and i'm not again i'm not surprised he tore his acl he felt like you know i'm not going to be able to get back up or get back into this fight so i'm gonna give up so my question is what's next for darren till um kind of i mean he had a good fight versus whitaker but other than that you know till hasn't looked all that great and it's it's kind of crazy because darren till i feel like darren till has all the striking tools to be a problem but the man just doesn't throw he just doesn't throw and if he does throw i put it on twitter he the only strikes that he throw is a a cross a elbow and maybe a low kick or like some type of kick to the leg other than that darren Chu just doesn't throw and he does a whole lot of fainting he does a whole lot of fainting and it's like darren bro let the hands go and i don't i don't know why exactly he does it i don't know if it's like a you know scared to get knocked out i mean darren too has admitted that he's been in you know he was he's been scared right in the octagon or or before a fight he's been scared and it's like you know you get knocked out bro and you 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 don't want to feel that again i mean masvidal put him to sleep and, and not only did he put him to sleep he put him to sleep in his hometown like in the uk he put him to sleep in front of his fans but the thing is he's had you know again the good fight versus robert whitaker he even dropped robert whitaker and i don't know if i'm gonna be completely honest and i know this is something you guys probably don't want to hear and it's something that you guys may disagree with. But Darren Till is on a way to getting cut. As much as we love Darren Till, the problem is his performance. His performance was bad, you know. He let a guy that's not even a wrestler take him down. After supposedly trading, training with Hamza Chimaya. We know the wrestling prowess of Hamza. And it's like, what was y'all doing? Partying? Cause he didn't, she didn't show no form of being able to sh to deny takedowns. Now, that could also factor into the fact that he tore his ACL. But it's like it was the things that he wasn't doing, the proper things when it comes to taking. Oh no, relax, my boy. The proper things to do when defending a takedown. It's just, what are you doing, Darren? And it's crazy because Darren went from title contender and welterweight and then turn around oh yeah and then he goes to middleweight possible title contender and then fades off into nothingness i mean it just bad performances and on top of all of this a lot of pullouts he's pulled out a lot of fights i believe three maybe four fights he's pulled out of and he was actually about to pull out of this one too as well if i'm not mistaken please correct me if i'm wrong and it's like darren come on bro like you got you got to shake back like we, we want to see at the end of the day we want to see darren till win i don't know if you do but i do i want to see the man win i mean he has a whole country behind him bro fighters with countries behind him you want to see them win because it does nothing but bring more eyes to the sport like if you ask uk fans right now right people from people from uh england would you rather darren teal or leon edwards be champion from a fan standpoint obviously you know i feel like leon deserves it more leon has put in work 
but the pop Darren Till would get as far as popularity would be much higher than Leon Edwards, even after him getting a crazy knockout. It's because people love Darren Till, though. I don't know. I feel for Darren Till. Again, I feel like... Oh, boy. I feel like he's he's one more loss. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets cut now. But I feel like he's a like one more loss from being basically, you know, cutting ties from the UFC. Nice hook. Okay. Swing! <laughs> Shout out there too. All right, guys. So uh, my light just fell. Uh, I have to pick that up. My camera isn't on, so you guys didn't see. Yeah, my light is currently on the floor. My ring light. But hey, with that being said, oh my goodness, look at that knockout. It was nasty. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the next fight, guys. If you're enjoying this, do me a favor and hit the like button for you, boy. All right, let's go. All right, here you go with the next one. Going against a Darren. No, I'm sorry. Going against a Hamza Chimaev. Hey, I'm about to beat him up for not, for not really helping me on my wrestling. All right? No, I'm just playing. Hey. Here we go. Here we go. Let's work. Okay. Starts off with one, two. Man's being hella aggressive. Okay. Hold this. Hold you one more. I'm just playing. Now he's playing a little bit slower pace. I'm going to chop you down, man. Hey, I'm going to deny takedowns. Oh, he's got the low block. He got the low block. Nice head movement. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Uh-uh. Let's work. Shoot the takedown. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I told you. Hey, I got takedown defense. Maybe he ain't got it in real life. But this Darren got takedown defense. Two-piece. Boom! Boom! Oh. Okay. Okay. Smart man. Smart man. Hey, but I'm going to work on the mat. I'm going to work on the mat. Get up. Come on, Darren. Get up. Oh, I got the stuck in transition. Yep, there we go. Get off me, boy. Give me the leg. Give me the leg. Uh-uh, uh-uh, hey, you know, you're not gonna finna get too many. Give me the punch. You ain't gonna get too many. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, throw a hook. There you go. There you go. Oh, did you just try to throw a high kick? You don't throw knees versus me. Stop, guys. Stop. Stop throwing the knees. He's saying what? I sidestepped your knee and threw a hook. That's what happened, bro. Please, guys, stop throwing them. I'm going to knock you out. GG's, though, guys. GG's. All right. We're going to get us in another fight, man. These two are a little bit too quick. Your boy. <sighs> your boy got to get in some more fights, man. Let's go, Darren Till. Catch you in the next one. All right, here we go. I think we'll end it with this one. No matter how long or how short this fight is. <sighs> going to get to Alex Pereira, man. This is definitely going to be a tough one. This dude is a damn giant. But we're a gorilla. We're a gorilla. Okay. Try to figure out what exactly he wants to do. I don't want to disrespect. His hands is going high. His hands is going low. Okay. Nice low kick. 
Uh-uh. Check that. Hey, you better be careful. You don't want to have low leg health with Pereira. Nice. Uh-uh. Come on. I just told you, bro. Throw a front kick. Front kick, maybe? Nice. Give me the leg. Okay. Mm, almost. Nice. You got to respect Pereira. If you don't, you be somewhere asleep. Uh-uh. Okay, so he throws that low kick followed by a cross or the roundhouse followed by a cross. Give me the leg. Uh-uh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That is bad. The fact that we're going to get him to switch stances this early on in a fight is bad. If he doesn't switch stance, we chop him down. If he doesn't switch stance, we chop him down. Oh, my goodness. Nice check. Nice check. Thing is, I got a lot of leg health, man. You ain't got much on that lead leg. And this is why you, you want to be able to fight in both stances because it looks like this guy can't fight in both stances. Nice. But now he's checking so many kicks. I'm actually going to pressure the high block. Get him to block high and throw our kicks in combinations. Like that right there. There we go. Yeah, it's about to get it's about to get real ugly for my man's here. It's about to get real ugly for my man's here. There you go. See, so finally switched stances. Now, keep in mind, this uh, Alex Pereira has a switch stance of 80. Ah, he's going crazy, bro. You good? You good, bro? Oh my. Nice. He's kind of throwing too much, though. Right? I just checked that kick with the lead. Oh, my sleep. <laughs> and just like that. I just knocked this man out with Darren Till. Left hook. Boom. Cracked him. Nasty. That was definitely nasty. Sheesh. Hey. And we're going to cut that one right there. We're going to cut that one right there, man. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one here. If you did, be sure to hit that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe up. Turn on notifications. And I will catch you boys and girls in the next one. All right? Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. And keep moving forward. Love you guys, man. See you.